Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, tonight we are checking out the latest from Stone Brewing here in North County, San Diego. This is their Ruination 2.0. It's their new uh, recipe for their classic Ruination. Double IPA recipe. Um, this is 8.5% alcohol by volume. This just, I think they released it on Saturday. Saturday was what, the 20 or the 18th? Today's Wednesday, the 22nd. So it's been out for about four days. Finally ran down to the stone store and grabbed, uh, grabbed a six pack of it. Um, this is brewed with uh, Centennial, Citra, Simcoe, and Aze Azeka hops. Azeka? How do you say that? Azeka? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I guess they decided they wanted to uh, to update the recipe for this. I'm not really sure why. I was a big Ruination fan. I do dig the new label on this, though. It looks mean. I like that a lot. But yeah, they just uh, had said, hey, with new brewing methods and new hops available, they wanted to, you know, kind of update the the old uh, recipe. I guess it's, this has been around since, I feel like it's been around forever. I think 2002 is when it, when Ruination came out. Um, one of the first double IPAs I remember drinking and one that I loved, I thought it was awesome. Definitely didn't think they needed to do a change or improve it or do anything to it, but I guess, uh, you know, as these new craft breweries are coming out and everyone's making crazy, awesome, hoppy beers, they wanted to uh, kind of evolve, so good on them for that. Um, I don't know much about this beer. I mean, it just came out, so I don't know anything about like ratings or what people are saying about it. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of check it out and see uh, see what we think. I don't remember what uh, the original Ruination was, but this one's 8.5%. I think it was around like the 8.8%, somewhere around there. So uh, this beer pours crystal clear. It's a uh, kind of a, on the, I don't know, dark amber, kind of a, uh, like a, almost like a light kind of a copper color. Uh, it looks great in the glass. With that pour, we didn't give it too aggressive a pour. It's about a finger of bright white head. Um, bunch of little bubbles around the uh, the edge of that glass, and there's some big soapy bubbles in the middle of that. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the aroma of this one. Wow, lots of, uh, <clears throat> lots of, there's a lot of pine and dankness in there. This actually kind of reminds me a little bit of the Enjoy By Aromas. You're definitely getting grapefruit. Uh, there's oranges in there grapefruit peel, the grapefruit pith. There's like some lemon zest in there. But pine, there's that dankness in there. This is very West Coast smelling. I mean, this smells like a classic stone beer. There's uh, there's some sweetness in there, um, like that kind of bready maltiness to kind of go with all that crazy in your face, dank, like hoppy just punch. But yeah, lots of uh, lots of grapefruit, oranges, uh, some tangerines. There's some kind of uh, like sweet smelling fruit in there, and I don't know what that is. Maybe like some uh, I don't know if it's like pineapple or like peaches. But it smells good. It reminds me a lot of uh, a lot of the uh, Enjoy by beer. So let's go and dig in. Cheers. That's good. that's good. I like that a lot. I wonder what the, I don't know what the IBUs on this are. That's bitter. That's dank. It's in your face. It's I mean it's classic stone. Right up front, you get hit with that grapefruit, grapefruit pith. Uh, lots of pininess, dankness. Middle of the mouth, that bitterness is there. Uh, this is a pretty bitter beer. I don't know if it shows or says what the IBUs on this are. I'd have to look it up. Um, I would guess this is a fairly bitter beer, though. Um, but yeah, the, the bitterness is there, middle of the mouth. You get that sweet kind of bready maltiness on the back end to kind of, uh, to kind of balance it all out. Um, it is bitter, it is hoppy, but it's not overly bitter and it's not overly hoppy. It's not like, it, I, I think it's really, really balanced, to be honest. Um, but yeah, the grapefruit, and the pine and the grassiness. Um, it's definitely not, I've been drinking, I feel like lately from the East Coast beers that I've gotten my hands on, 
they've been drinking very juicy. This is not a juicy beer, but you get like that essence of grapefruit um, and grapefruit peel and lemon zest. The bitterness, the pininess, the dankness. I mean, this screams West Coast style IPA to me. I, I, I like this a lot. This is really, really good. Um, easy drinking for eight and a half percent. You don't get any, uh, you don't get any booze on the nose or on the palate. I mean, this this is still fairly cold. I mean, I, I drove home with it in my truck, but um, I, I, as this warms, it might there might be a little bit of like booziness that comes out. I don't know if it will at eight and a half percent, but very very easy drinking in my opinion. Uh, good stuff from Stone. I would say this is a good kind of uh, successor to the original Ruination recipe. It is bitter though. <laughs> it is bitter. That's stone for sure. Um, but that bitterness, when it's there, it, it just hangs out for a little bit and then it kind of goes away. It, I mean, it lingers a little bit, but it's nothing crazy where you're like, ugh, I'm going to labor through this. You know, that whole like scrape your tongue to try and get that bitterness off of a. Uh, off your tongue, but I, I dig, I dig the pininess in it. I like the dankness. I like the grapefruit, the citrus. That's good stuff. Really, really good. As far as a grade, um, I'm gonna go. Let's see here. What do we give this? I, th I think this is a solid A beer. I think this is a beer that I will continue to have in my fridge all the time. I'm gonna go 95 for this one. Solid, solid A. Uh, good stuff from Stone. So, uh, you guys should start seeing this soon. Um, on the bottle, there's a big stamp that says enjoy by July 12th. They're still not doing uh, bottle on dates, but they're saying enjoy this by July 12th. So they're giving their, their beer 90 days still. So um, once it starts getting out, once you guys have this, let me know what you think. I think it's, I mean, I know there's a lot of people who will probably be upset that the original ruination recipe is gone, but I mean, I think this is, uh, like I said, this is a good successor to that. I mean, what can you do? You can stop drinking it if you want, but <laughs> good, good stuff from Stone. So I'm gonna wrap this one up, guys, as always. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for sharing them. Um, and like I said, once you get your hands on this and try it, let me know what you think. I think it's good, good stuff. So uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Cheers.